Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Vlog, episode four. Today, we have some really bad news. My PS5 is broken. <laughs> That's right, it's a, it's a brick. A $500 paperweight. So let me explain what happened this morning. I woke up, turned it on, and it said file corrupted, um, and went into safe mode. So I went into safe mode, it had some options to update the software, so I thought maybe that's the reason why I went to safe mode, needed to update. So I went via internet and updated the software. It downloaded it, took about a minute, minute and a half. After the download, it said, cannot update, file corrupted. So I tried it one more time, <clears throat> then I went online with a USB stick and went to the website, PlayStation 5 website, and then I downloaded the software on the USB and did all of the things you have to do, name the folder PS5, name the folder update inside the PS5, all that. Put it in the USB drive, went the same way, it downloaded the whole thing, and at the end said file corrupted. Same thing as the internet. I tried several USB ports in the back, even on the front, and then um, after that restarted the PS5, thinking it might go out of safe mode. It stayed in safe mode the whole time. So my last resort was to reinstall the entire software, do a factory reset. And that entails going online with the USB stick and downloading the, the software uh, for the USB, or for the uh, PS5 on the USB, did the same thing, plug it in, go to option seven, and then click on that, and then it would download it. It did it download the, the software about a minute, took the download, then said file corrupted. Right, shoot. And then, so I tried it multiple times, turned it off, tried it again, nothing. So then I contacted the PlayStation support it took about 30 minutes to get somebody, an uh, actual human being. I went online to the chat. Just save your time. Don't go online to the chat for this. You're going to need to talk to a human being. So I did that. And uh, it took about 15 minutes of us talking back and forth, going through everything I went through that I explained to you. And he determined that they're going to have to service it, which sucks. That means they're going to send a box out to the house. It'll take about three days. I'll pack it, put it back in, and I'll send it to them. And they said it takes about two, three weeks for them to fix it and send it back. So it's gonna be at least three weeks I'm not gonna have a PS5 or this $500 paperweight. Um, few things though to understand, you're gonna have to have, this happens to you, you, do, you, know, you go through this file corruption issue, you're probably gonna have to do the same thing I did. Make sure when you call, you're gonna have to have the serial number on the bottom here and the model number as well. They're gonna ask for those things, so make sure you can You'll have those. You also want proof of purchase. So I bought mine at GameStop online. There'll be a link right here showing how I did that. So they're gonna ask for the proof of purchase or receipt. Mine's an email, so that's gonna be okay. I have an email from GameStop with the order number and all that. So uh, what else? Yeah, so they're gonna send the box out. I'll send it out and then they will, if they're paying for postage, everything is under warranty. There's nothing that's gonna, won't cost me anything. It's just gonna cost me time. I can't play my games on here. And luckily, I have PS Plus, which saves all my game uh, saves to the cloud. So I didn't lose, I won't lose anything. I won't lose any of my, my uh, game data. So it'll all be, once I get this back, it'll be factory reset for sure. So I'll, I'll put my games back on there, Call of Duty, Spider-Man, Skyrim, Gran Turismo, but also all my saves will go back on there. So I'll be back where I was before this happened. So um, yeah, pretty disappointed though. I've had this system for four months. I mean, this, this is brand new. It still smells brand new. It's got the new console smell. And uh, for it to break in four months is crazy. You know, I'm sure it's just probably a software issue. I'm assuming it's probably what it is. So I don't know, who knows, it could be hardware, but I, I, I'm assuming it's a software thing. But I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed though, but I love PlayStation, so I'm still a hardcore PlayStation fan, no matter what. And customer service was really good. The guy on the line, Kyle, was really good. He's really a nice person. So um, hopefully they get it fixed soon. I'll get this back hopefully by May, sometime in the middle of May. I'll let you guys know what's going on with that and, uh, <clears throat> and what's wrong with it. I'm gonna, I wanna get the diagnosis and find out what the heck was wrong with it. So I'll let you guys know in a video that comes up probably in mid-May. So look for mid-May to the end of May to find out what happened. So, uh, but really, have, has this happened to you guys before? Have you had this file corruption issue? I'm just curious, so in the comments, you know, let me know in the comments below, and if you fixed it somehow, you got some trick you did to fix it, let me know soon, before I send this out, probably on Saturday, I'm assuming I'm gonna getting this, it's what's today's Wednesday, so I'll probably get the box by Friday or Saturday. So let me know soon what you, um, 
what you did to fix it. If you didn't fix it, just follow my my instructions on how to you know call and get your your box go ahead so they can send it out to the PlayStation um, servicing. So, anyways, guys, uh, bad news, but we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. Peace out.